Guys, this is it. It is the final episode of our FIFA 17 pack and play career mode and what a way to end it. This could be heartbreak or absolute jubilation. Just to recap what is going on right now, we've got one game left against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We are second in the league, United are top, they have 79 points, we have 77, we have a better goal difference than them. So, with a win, and anything but a win for United, we could win the league. If they lose or they draw, and we win, we will win the league. If United win, regardless of what we do, or how we get on in our game, we are out of the title race, and United have won the league. United are playing Crystal Palace at Old Trafford, but Crystal Palace aren't doing so bad in this career mode. They are currently fourth in the league. Hello. You're interrupting me, it's the final episode. Sorry about that. So we will now go into the game against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and I am terrified. And this is the team we're gonna go with. We have got our six foot six beast, as per usual, in goal, Tatarasanu, Rojo, uh, Ruiz Sanchez across the back three Garcia and Horta in the middle of midfield Kalu our Chelsea reject our beautiful Chelsea reject at that on the left Amiri just behind the strikers Carcella Gonzalez on the right with our Lord and Saviour and eh, Bellotti up front Hopefully they can do a job for us today. We can not lose. Come on, boys, and come on, Palace. I've turned the uh, goal news on to uh, let us know how the United game is going, if that actually works, because sometimes it'll show us one goal. They'll say, oh, United have scored. And then 10 minutes later, we'll say, it's 3-1 to United, so it misses out a few goals. Hopefully it does a good job of it and makes this more exciting. Come on. And here we are, guys, at Stamford Bridge. We have to win this game. Remember that. We have to win this game. There is no exception. We have to win. And there is a reminder of the league table with United up top. We've got a better goal difference, so we have to win. As I've said for the third time now, United have to draw or lose for us to win. Come on. Straight from the off. Let's just run at him and run at him and run at him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Anyone? Come on, Bellotti. Do something. That's it. Well in. Ben one in. Get your head on it. Oh, he's hit the bar. Have a crack. What a save from Courtois. What a save. We need to keep pushing for this. Put them under pressure and do not stop. Flick it in. Have a crack. Straight at the keeper again. Come on. We've really started off on the front foot. But as we've seen in many other big games when we do play, it doesn't count for anything. You can have as many shots as you want, but FIFA will punish you if you do not take your chances. Come on, Garcia. Good chance. Good ball. Emery. Oh, I tried to tuck it into that bottom right hand corner. Why didn't I just put it in at the near post? What a chance. Because I knew if the defender didn't get to that, then that ball would have just rolled into the bottom corner. What a waste. Come on. Good header. Tips over the bar by Thibaut Courtois. Let's take it short to our little wizard, Emery. Knock it in. That'll do. Drill it across goal. Or not. Just don't do it a press. Well in Costella. Get it in. Not an awful ball punched away. Palace have just scored. It's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. So we need to win this now. What a chance Palace have just given us. We cannot let them down. We need to nick this league off United. Why are our strikers running backwards when everyone else is going forwards? Keep going. 
Keep going forward. Have a crack. Of course it's blocked. Has it come through? It has come through! And we've got the goal that we so badly needed. A little bit of fortune for us there. But there is Bolotti. We paid 30 to 40 million for him and he's been absolutely awful. But that goal could have won us the league and that would make it 30 to 40 million pounds well spent. Come on, son. 1-0 at Stamford Bridge to the Sunderland. Let's get it away. It's those crosses that I cannot handle. And that was definitely a foul. But the ref has chose to ignore it. It's a poor pass, really. Well in. Help him out. Go on. Beat him to it. Beat him to it. Surely. Nick it in. Oh, what a chance. Bloody hell. I can't take this. Turn him. Will in him, Eri. Have a crack. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper. Whew, my throat is killing me already. Sit. Come short again. Quickly dink it in. Not a bad ball. Get your head on it. It's in. It's 2-0. It's our Lord and Saviour, Jay Rodriguez, who has done it for us. 2-0 before half time. I will take it. And will this be the goal that makes us champions? Come on. <coughs> God, Jesus Christ. Go on, son. Finish him off. Yes, he has done it. It's 3-0. And our Lord and Saviour has come back with a vengeance in this game. 3-0 to Sunderland. I will take that. So our goal difference is definitely greater than United anyway now. We need to, need to hope to God that Crystal Palace keep their heads and win. Or, or at least draw at Old Trafford. That will do us a massive, massive favour. That'll do. It's half time. We'll now check on the half time scores because, like I said, with those notifications, they don't always tell you every single goal scored. We shall now see. Man United nil. Crystal Palace one. It is still one nil. So, as of right now, we will be champions as things stand. <coughs> Destroyed my throat. Go on, Jay Rodriguez. Go on, Jay Rodriguez. Come inside. It's too obvious. And David Luiz will deal with you with ease. David Luiz did it with ease. David Luiz did it with ease. Come on. Come on, Carcella. Bring it out. Faster than Alonso. Give him a hand. I'll do. And again. Oh, why have you just let it run behind you? And Kalu was already making runs backwards. Have a crack, Kalu. And that's why you're a Chelsea reject and you've just embarrassed yourself in front of your former club. Great play. We'll watch the replay for this one, actually, just to uh, show you what an embarrassment you are. Can he finish? Near post. Good effort. And it looks like Carcelo was just taken out off the ball, which the referees decided to ignore. Get into him, get into him, well in. Ruiz is a beast. Well in, Amiri, you little wizard. Get it in across goal. Not good enough. Well in. Well in. Good chance. Across goal. Blocked. And again, finish it. Surely he has. He's done it. And that is the game set and matched. <coughs> Jesus Christ, my throat is in bits. Jay Rodriguez with the goal there. Amiri trying to get... A shot in. And then his second shot was awful. It just ended up being a perfect pass to Jay Rodriguez, who was slotted at home to a helpless Courtois. Come on! Blow the whistle, ref. Come on, how have they done? How have they done? The whistle has gone. Are we champions? The commentator isn't saying that we've we're the champions or anything. So we shall see. I'm scared now. About what the result was. Man United drew. So we did win the league. We have won the league, guys. We have done it. Oh, my word. Only two episodes ago, we said that we needed a miracle. We said we needed an absolute miracle. And we have got it. Look at that. We have won the league. Just think about what we've done in reality. At the beginning of this series, we opened 10 gold packs in Ultimate Team and we selected the players we wanted to play in our Karemo team 
with Sunderland and just see how they get on. It wasn't an excellent team, it wasn't a horrendous team by any stretch of the imagination, it was just bang average in the middle. How did we do in the FA Cup? We got knocked out in the third round. How did we do in the League Cup? We got knocked out in the League Cup final against Spurs. But what an ending to this series and what a dramatic ending to just nick the league from United on the final game of the season. Come on, boys. So there is the league, top of the league. We've got 80 points, level with United. Just the five goals ahead of them in goal difference, which has given us the league. Thank you to Crystal Palace. So just out of interest, we'll have a look at some of the season statistics, shall we? So the top goal scorers in the league, we had Harry Kane with 16 goals, Martial from United with 15, and Cazorla and Sane uh, with 14. And there is Jay Rodriguez, Rodrigo, Rodriguez with 13 goals for us. I don't know if we have any other goal scorers in there. We don't. But Jay Rodriguez, he's our lord and saviour. That's all we need. Assists, Amiri is top of the assist table because he is a little wizard. He is really a wizard. With nine assists in front of Cazola, Sane, Rooney and Vardy. Clean sheets, of course. Who could doubt our six foot six beast, Tatrasanu, with 17 clean sheets. That is incredible by anyone's standard. Yellow cards, not too interested. Red cards, I don't think we got any sending offs throughout the season, which isn't bad. So guys, that will be it. The end of the series. The season is finished. The series is finished. We have won the league, which is absolutely incredible. If you have enjoyed this experimental series, which I have just tried out to play around with, then please drop a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed and you're new to the channel. Bear in mind this series was purely experimental, not just on a FIFA basis, but for me as a YouTuber as well. It was my first ever series. I've had zero knowledge or practice or lessons about editing and doing all this kind of stuff. It's purely a hobby for me and I enjoy doing it myself. And if you enjoy watching these videos and going through this, sort of journey with me then please again subscribe and like the video and also FIFA 18 is just round the corner I have been playing the demo a little bit on and off haven't gone too far into it but as soon as FIFA 18 comes out I will be doing a career mode again I might do the journey as well maybe possibly if that's what anyone would like to watch me do the journey I'll do that as well I will be doing a rebuilding Sunderland career mode Obviously I'm a Sunderland fan and now they're in the championship as well which makes it a lot more exciting because I know that a lot of other people will be doing it with the top teams of the Premier League the likes of Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, City, United etc. So to take Sunderland who in real life are really struggling in the championship to try and rebuild them and make them back into a Premier League outfit would be a very interesting series I believe anyway I think it'd be quite fun and we'll deal with a little bits and pieces in FIFA 18 as well so again this is the end of the episode this is the end of the series you take care and stay jacked